Well, well, well. <clears throat> I'm back. <laughs> Finally. My goodness gracious. Seemed like forever since I've been with you on Morning Musings. I like to never have gotten everything set up this morning. Uh, wound up missing some cables for my backup hard drives. Don't know where in the world those things are. I hope they're in my other computer case. But all of that aside, here I am. Welcome back. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma. And this is what I call my morning musings. Uh, like I said, it's really, really good to be back with you. Just a couple of things here uh, on the business side of it. Um, I got in the masters for the uh, panel discussion between myself and Harold Eberly that took place uh, November 9th and the 10th in Bend, Oregon. And of course, we had a couple of other speakers, uh, really good speakers. Terry Cashin uh, spoke up there, as well as Gary Parrish uh, from Hawaii. And this was by absolute, total, 100% consensus. This was really, really a great get together. Many of you have asked me about the DVDs and the MP3s, and I do have them on hand. I will be sending them off uh, today, overnight, to get them rendered. That is, the number of DVDs uh, reduced down so that we can have fewer and fewer uh, discs. But I'll be doing that today, overnight. Lord willing, nothing happens. I'll have those back in hand, ready to start duplicating by the first or the middle of next week. And I'll be making the announcements on my websites, uh, here on YouTube and Facebook, et cetera, et cetera. So be sure to be watching for that because believe me, you don't want to miss the great interchange uh, during the Q&A sessions. Lots and lots of fantastic questions were asked Lots of opportunity for you to hear both sides between the post-millennial view and the full preterist view. So again, be watching for that. And just as kind of a heads up, as a bit of a teaser, all right, uh, going to be making a fantastic, exciting announcement about this next year's Preterist Pilgrim Weekend as far as the theme is concerned, as far as some of the speakers are concerned. We'll be making that announcement in the very, very near future. You really, really want to make your plans to be with us at the Preterist Pilgrim Weekend. We're going to be dealing with really, you know, one of the hot, hot topics uh, that is being discussed. The adversaries of covenant eschatology, you know, they think they've got us in a box. They think that they've got the answer to covenant eschatology. Of course, they're wrong. But uh, we're going to be discussing this really, really hot topic with five or six speakers. And this is going to be absolutely fantastic. Well, all right. In our morning musings, before I had to ship my equipment off, before my computer went down, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, we've been discussing the already but the not yet. Now, the already but the not yet has to do with the fact that Jesus and the New Testament writers would very often speak of spiritual realities or prophetic realities as if they were already there. But then they'd turn right around and speak of those identical things as if they had not yet come. But here's something else that has perplexed scholars and students alike. They invariably put the not yet in an imminent time frame. In other words, when they said it was coming, it was coming soon. Even, for instance, the redemption of creation, which, by the way, we discussed in Bend, Oregon, there are four emphatic time statements concerning the redemption of the creation in Romans 8. So, how do we explain this? Some scholars have attempted to explain the already but and the not yet by saying, well, what we have here is we have two different natures. The spiritual was the already, that was fulfilled, but they were waiting for the physical. And that was, by the way, Harold Eberly's view, that was Joel McDermott's view in my debate with him. This has been the view of many of my debate opponents. Well, that's just simply unscriptural. There's no justification for it. What I want to do and what I will be doing in the next few installments of this 
is discussing the already and the not yet of the new creation. No one doubts that the new creation is in some sense the eschatological goal that, the, that Christ, quote, second coming, unquote, would bring in, bring to full bloom the new creation. The Old Testament foretold the new creation. The New Testament writers said they were looking for the full arrival of what the Old Testament prophets had said. Oh, by the way, to reiterate a point, the New Testament writers said the Old Testament writers did not know either the nature or the timing of the things which they foretold when they foretold the coming of the Lord, the kingdom, the glory, the salvation to come at the day of the Lord. But they insisted, according to 2 Peter chapter 1, they insisted that they were the recipients of the divine revelation of the nature and the time of the coming fulfillment of what the Old Testament prophets had said. You know, this totally falsifies those who say the New Testament writers were doing nothing but exactly what the Jews around them were doing. They had the same identical expectations. They had the same eschatological hope. Well, they used the same terminology, but the New Testament writers emphatically said the Old Testament writers did not understand. They did not know the nature or the time of the things of which they spoke, but the New Testament writers emphatically said to them in the first century was being revealed the time and the nature of the fulfillment of what the Old Testament prophets said. This is true of the new creation. Be looking forward to that because we're going to be talking about that on the flip side. Thanks so much for joining me for today's morning musings. And by the way, if you want a really, really good discussion to help you understand this entire doctrine of the new heaven and new earth, get my book, The Elements Shall Melt with Fervent Heat. You can go to my website, www.eschatology.org www.bibleprophecy.com or www.donkpreston.com Order that book, The Element Shall Melt with Fervent Heat. Mention that you saw the offer on YouTube or Facebook and I'll pay your shipping. All right? Hey, thanks again for joining me for this morning's Morning Musings and we'll see you on the flip side.